All right, you saw the title. In this video, we'll add an AI voice assistant as a widget to a website. It will be optimized for real-time voice conversations, um, pretty much like what you experience with ChatGPT's advanced voice mode. So first, let's check out a live demo, and then I'll walk you through how to set it up step-by-step with no coding required. So imagine this is my website for my dummy business, uh, which in this case is a beauty salon. Um, this is our widget. You just open it and you can initiate a conversation with AI Assistant. Uh, let's allow access to, to my microphone. Hey there, how can I assist you? Hi, um, can you tell me about your services? Of course. At Serenity Glow Spa, we offer a variety of services designed to promote relaxation and well-being. Our main offerings include massages such as Swedish, deep tissue, okay, hot stone. Okay, wait. Um, Absolutely. Can you tell me more about um, Swedish massage? Of course. Our Swedish massage is a classic massage technique designed for overall relaxation and rejuvenation. It involves long flowing strokes, kneading and circular movements on the topmost layers of muscles. Oh, okay. So uh, I'd like to book an appointment for that one. Can, can you do that? Absolutely. I can help you with that. May I have your name to book the appointment for the yeah. Swedish massage? Um, so my name is Brad. Thank you, Brad. We have your appointment for a Swedish massage ready to be booked. Is there a particular day and time that works best for you? Yes. Um, can we book it for tomorrow for um, 2 p.m.? Let me check with our availability. Yes, we have an opening for a Swedish massage tomorrow at 2 p.m. Your appointment is all set. We look forward to seeing you at Serenity Glow Spa. Cool. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. So the tool we are going to use today is called Synthflow, and I'm going to create this assistant from scratch. So once you sign up with uh, Synthflow, just click Create Assistant, and here you can select Start from Scratch um, and choose a widget option. Now you have various tabs here. You have the dashboard. Uh, so once you start using it, you can check out the number of total calls, uh, the minutes used, average call duration, etc. A lot of analytics here. Um, but the, the very important tab is a configure. Um, here, first of all, let's change the name of our assistant. Let's call it Spa AI Assistant. Then you can choose AI voice model that will power your assistant. And there are two options here. There is real-time voice. It is OpenAI's real-time API that supports natural speech-to-speech -speech conversations. Also, there is SynthFlow's model, which is also optimized for real-time AI conversations. Uh, currently, they use GPT-40 as an a large language model for processing and their proprietary tech for text-to-speech. Um, I've tested both of them and I must say they are very close, so it's up to you which one to choose. Um, and we are going to test them both in this video later. Then there is a lot of customization for the uh, visuals of your widget here. So uh, I'd like to change the color of this uh, sphere to um, blue one, um, something, something like this. Um, and then you can also change the background. I, I'd like to choose like something dark um, and maybe a bit lighter color like this. Okay, and now I really like it. Let's call it a Spa AI Assistant. Okay, I, I like how it looks like. Um, let's move on. Um, you can select allow widget to float. W what that means, um, if you enter the website, you'll see the bubble uh, of the widget that you need to click on. And if you turn it off, then it will be always open on the website. So it's up to you. And then there are more settings. For example, you can change the uh, voice. Let's listen this, to this one. Hey there, how can I assist you? I, I like this one, let's keep it. Um, so these settings are available only if you select SynthFlow's model. If you select um, real-time voice, it will be uh, unavailable here. So let's use SynthFlow first. And then there are call configuration. Um, so we can change a lot of settings here, like pause before speaking, different uh, settings. What I like 
the most is enable recordings. So you can toggle to record calls for playback and easy review in the logs. This way you can keep the transcripts of your calls and analyze them and improve your assistant. Uh, and you can also uh, enable a limit call duration option because that way you don't overspend. So if you want your call to be maximum like five minutes, you know, then you can set it here, save. Uh, it. By the way, changes are saved uh, automatically all the time whenever you change something. It's also very useful. For now, let's just toggle it off. Let's go back to general. Obviously to make it perform well and to make it reliable, we need to add um, some knowledge base, the information about our business, right? The context. And then we also need to prepare the prompt, which will instruct the assistant how to behave, um, what its role is and so on. So let's add some uh, knowledge base files. Here you can click new and add a new knowledge base. Um, let's call it general knowledge base um, spa. And what's really cool here is that you can even trigger conditions for rug search. I really find it useful because that way you can, first of all, increase the uh, effectiveness, but also reduce the latency because you kind of point the AI where to look for and when, right? So let's, uh, let's say something users uh, ask about general information about our business, such as opening hours, uh, services offered, how to book an appointment, and other frequently asked questions. Cool, let's create. And now you can add documents to this uh, knowledge base. Uh, obviously you can do it via um, uploading PDF files or just add some plain text, um, or you can also paste a URL. I'm going to create a new document adding some plain text. Uh, so let's call it general info uh, about Serenity Glow Spa and I'll add my prepared knowledge base here. All right, click upload and it's done. So my knowledge base is here. I can check it out. I have my frequently asked questions here. All good. Now in this section, first of all, you can change the custom greeting. So instead of, hey there, let's say, hey there, um, this is an AI assistant. How can I assist you? Something like that. Now, since Flow Team, they have made these prompt preparations extremely easy. You don't have to be a prompt engineer. You don't have to know anything because first of all, there are some prompting guidelines. You can just watch the video guide. Um, then you can also use a template. So there is a follow-up for outbound and a ton of different use cases. But uh, the most interesting option here is Ask Copilot. So you can create a prompt to fit your needs together with an AI Copilot. So um, first of all, uh, they are asking if we need this assistant for inbound calls or outbound calls, um, inbound calls. And they just guide you through the creation of a well-structured prompt. I really like it. All right, uh, great choice. For inbound calls, we can focus on several objectives such as booking appointments, offering support, let's say offering support and booking appointments. So I suggest that you spend some time and just work together with AI and get the prompt right because prompt is very important for the overall uh, performance of your assistant. All right, so uh, I'm not going to do this right now. I have my prompt already uh, prepared. I'm gonna use this one and just click edit and paste my prompt here. Um, let's click save. So now I have my prompt, I have my knowledge base. Let's deploy the widget to my website. Just copy this uh, code and go to the HTML of your website, paste it here, save it, um, and let's refresh our site. So now it's not floating, it's already open because uh, you remember in our configuration here, I have this toggled off. Also, I have a Synthflow as a model here. Let's change it to real-time voice and then allow widget to float. It is saved automatically. Let's refresh our website and now let's try how it works. Hey there, this is an AI assistant. How can I assist you? Hey. Can you tell me about the services you are offering? Of course. At Serenity Glow Spa, we offer a variety of services designed to promote relaxation and well-being. Our main services include massages from the traditional Swedish massage for relaxation to deep tissue massage for muscle tension relief. We have a range of options. 
We also offer hot stone therapy and aromatherapy to enhance your massage experience. Facials. Our facial treatments range from hydrating facials to anti-aging right. facials that revitalize your skin. All right. Now, tell me, what should I do if I'm running late for my appointment? If you're running late for your appointment at Serenity Glow Spa, it's best to give us a call as soon as possible. We understand that things happen and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Depending on the schedule, we might need to shorten your session to ensure the next client can start on time, or we may be able to reschedule your appointment for a later time. Either way, communication is key. So please let us know your situation and we'll find the best solution for you. All right, do you offer any products? Like, do you have a product catalog? Yes, Serenity Glow Spa offers a curated selection of skincare and wellness products to complement our spa treatments. Our product catalog includes high quality skincare lines for various skin types and concerns, essential oils, aromatherapy products, and more. Our spa consultants can guide you through our offerings. Okay, anything, wait, anything specific you can offer for skincare? Absolutely. For skincare, we offer a range of high quality products to complement our spa treatments. Some options include gentle cleansers. These are perfect for daily use to remove impurities without stripping the skin of its natural oils. So yeah, but can you, can you name specific products you can offer? Certainly. At Serenity Glow Spa, we offer a range of high quality skincare products. Here are a few examples. Cleansers. Our gentle foaming cleansers are perfect for all skin types, effectively removing impurities without stripping the skin of its natural oils. Serums. We offer a variety of serums, including vitamin C serums for brightening, hyaluronic acid serums for hydration, and anti-aging serums with retinol for reducing fine lines. Moisturizers. Our moisturizers range from lightweight lotions for oily skin to rich creams for dry or mature skin, all designed to nourish and protect. Eye creams, specifically formulated to address... All right, thank you. So as you see, it is not perfect, but the knowledge base is not perfect. I just generated it in ChatGPT for the purposes of this video. And in your prompt, you can specifically say, answer the questions according to the knowledge base. And if you are asked to tell this and that, uh, use this part of the knowledge base. Um, so this needs to be tested. You need to iterate a few times and this way you need to optimize your prompt. For now, let's make it a bit more advanced and we are going to add um, scheduling appointments as an action, right? So it will be able to check the availability for the appointment, then schedule it and then notify us via email. So first of all, at the moment, if you use real-time voice by OpenAI, um, actions are not available yet. Synthflow team is working on it, so it will be available soon. Maybe by the time you watch this video, it is available. But for now, I'd have to switch to Synthflow model. And then if I go to actions, um, I can add real-time booking, for example. Or I can add a custom action and build some business logic on the side. But for this video, I'm going to use real-time booking, a pre-configured action by uh, Synthflow. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to select my um, action, my event type from call.com. If you don't have it, if you never used it before, you just need to sign up with call.com. Here you need to create your event and then just connect it to Synthflow. It is very straightforward, shouldn't be um, any problems here. And then you can use this event to uh, actually book meetings. So let's test it out. One more thing I want to do is to um, go to prompt, click edit and add uh, a note in the end. You must obtain client's name to book an appointment. Just to make sure it asks for your name to schedule an appointment correctly. All right, let's click save and now let's test it out. So if I go to um, call.com and go to availability, I set my working hours as from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So theoretically, if I ask to book an appointment for 11 p.m., it shouldn't be able to do that. So let's test it out and try booking for tomorrow for 11 p.m. Let's just test it from here. Hey there, this is an AI assistant. How can I assist you? 
Hey, um, I'd like to book an appointment, a Swedish massage for tomorrow for 11 p.m. I'm glad you're interested in a Swedish massage. Unfortunately, we don't have availability at 11 p.m. Would you like to consider other times? For Saturday, November 9th, we've got slots open at 9 a.m., no, 1 wait. p.m., and um, 5 p.m. Wait, wait, wait. Can I, can I book it for tomorrow for 9 p.m.? Just to confirm, you're looking to book a Swedish massage for tomorrow at 9 p.m. If that's correct, could you share your name with me so I can secure the appointment? Uh, yes, that's correct. My name is Brad. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. Great, Brad. Your Swedish massage is all set for tomorrow at 9 p.m. If you have any questions or needs before then, just let me know. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. And now uh, you can see in my bookings tab here, a new booking appeared. It is between Bogdan Saranchik because that's my calendar and Brad, the name I uh, provided it with. And then if I go to my email, I also um, got a notification, your event has been scheduled um, November 9th, 9 p.m. Um, and the name is Brad. Brad is our guest. Works, works well to me. Um, now let's actually try and test it once again. I, I want to book another appointment again for tomorrow for 9 p.m. and see if it identifies that that particular time slot is already booked. Okay, start a call. Hey there, this is an AI assistant. How can I assist you? Hey, um, I'd like to book an appointment for tomorrow for 9 p.m. Can you do that? Sure thing. Tomorrow we have an availability at 9 p.m. Before I confirm this appointment, could you let me know your name? Yes, my name is um, Bo. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. Hmm, it looks like the 9 p.m. slot is no longer available. Let's try a different time for tomorrow. We yeah, have openings at sure. 9 a.m., 1 p.m., or 5 p.m. Yes, Which let's, let's book it for, for 5 p.m. Please wait a moment while I book your meeting. We're all set. Your appointment is booked for 5 p.m. tomorrow. If you need to make any changes, just use the link provided in your email. Anything else you'd like to know or do today? Um, all right, that's it. Thank you very much for your assistance. Bye. So I'm happy it actually understood that it made a mistake. And initially it said that for 9 p.m. it is okay, we can book an appointment, but then it realized that it was already scheduled. Um, so it told me um, I couldn't do that. Let's find another time slot. So it works quite well. And every time I get a new notification that there is a new event scheduled, again, now the guest is Bo, um, 5 p.m. Um, so it works really, really well. And if you notice, it took me just a few minutes to set everything up. I think uh, prompting is the most time consuming part because you need to actually work on the prompt, iterate and make it work well. Um, but overall, I'd say that Synthflow is very user friendly. It is so easy to set up a, a ready to use voice AI widget and deploy it to your website. And it is quite reliable. The only thing that is not reliable is your prompt. That's why you need to iterate and uh, make sure it is working well. All right, that's it. Guys, if you want to actually implement it to your website, you can reach out to me and we, we can do much more advanced stuff. We can build the whole business logic on the side integrated with your um, specific CRM system or any any kind of uh, third-party software you use. As long as they have the relevant API endpoints, we can do that. Feel free to reach out to us at bosar.agency. And also, if you want to actually leverage this opportunity because more and more businesses are starting to implement AI into their processes, into their business operations. So we created a full program that will teach you how to build custom AI solutions and how to sell them to various businesses. So also check out our website for that. It is AIF.academy and the link will be provided in the video description. Let me know in the comments if you managed to deploy this widget to your website, how it works for you, or if you are facing any issues. Also feel free to write a comment. I'll try my best to reply and help you out. Thank you very much for watching this one and we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.